Prepare yourself to step into the captivating world of Karens and Kevins, where even the most ordinary scenarios become a treasure trove of hilarious entertainment. First up, we've got Kevin losing his cool because some fabulous ladies dared to stroll through his fancy schmancy gated neighborhood. We didn't even do nothing, so we're recording you right now. That, that you have harassment, right? No, it's not. Yes, it is. Absolutely. It's harassment. You're a grown Man, we're minors, though. Actually, I'm we the minors. board director here. We're minors. So, I don't we're care. minors. Officer, so you how you three liking girls in your here. face? Three section eight how people here. How you liking your face? Ghetto girls. How you liking your face? Look at this. No, you're grown. Like, this is a grown man, right? Yep. You're grown. You go right here. You're grown, so I'm recording you too. Look at this, right here. Yes. Hold on to your burgers, folks, because McDonald's seems to attract the wildest Karens out there, and this one takes the crown. Introducing Ethan Schmidt, also known as the Notorious Kevin. He got the boot from a store for harassing shoppers. Talk about a shopaholic gone wild. Sir, uh, do you have the a gay pride section for children? For children? Yes. Uh, I don't think we have one for children. No. Thank so God. Right there. Thank God you don't have one for children. Thank you, we'll sir. Check it out. See if there's kid stuff in the it, Yeah, let, let's check it out though. Let's make sure. So if there is, we're going to have to complain to corporate about that. Take them. You can't take their word for it. Sneak stuff in like a Trojan horse. Here's the gay loser pride section. <laughs> the gay loser pride section. <laughs> gay loser pride section. So I'm just really tempted just to kick it down, man. It's very unstable, much like their idea. They have it right in the middle of the store, too. Just like a satanic it's a shrine. It's a showcase. Excuse me, y'all vaccinated? What? Y'all vaccinated to get the 19? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Natural, natural selection. Natural selection, they said, folks. Right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Ooh, a natural selection. Ethan Schmidt, right? What? Ethan Schmidt, right? Yeah. I need you to leave. Oh. So, if you would, I need you to leave. Whoa, right we got Kevin. Yeah. Kevin, Good day. what's wrong? What's wrong? I need you to leave. You don't like Ethan Schmidt? Ron? No, I need you to leave. Why? You can't just, you need to leave. You, you don't like Ethan Schmidt? Sir? Hey, we, we, we exposed all your, uh, all your, all your woke shit, so. That's fine. Yeah. Have a good day. You already sir. exposed it, so. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, they teamed up on you. Oh, it's Ethan Schmidt. Oh, it's Ethan Schmidt. How'd they, so do you think they knew you or they like figured out who you were really quickly? Yeah, they know who I am. All these employees of these woke stores know who I am, bro. It's the epic battle of UK Karen versus the bin man. Who will come out on top? Tune in to find out. Watch as Kevin unleashes his fury on a wheelchair user because apparently he thinks they don't deserve a set of wheels. Talk about rolling with the wrong crowd. What did you say, sir? Why are you in a wheelchair when I saw you get out of your car and walk? Can you help me? This person walked out of their vehicle and assembled that wheelchair. I have nerve damage in one leg, sir. I can walk. Fair enough. Thank you. Now, check out this next Karen who clearly forgot to read the property ownership manual. Spoiler alert, she's not the owner. Can I help you? Ma'am, Officer Gaddy Superior Court, how are you? Good, how are you? You open the door, we're here to do the eviction. 
Um, I'm sorry, but um, there can't be any force that's involved. There's an eviction. It was kicked back from federal back to the state last night or yesterday, and I was advised to move forward today. Can you come to the door, please? Who do you have with you? A police officer? Yes, ma'am. Okay, North great. Town. Can I speak with him? Uh, can you come to the door? I cannot. I'm sick in bed. Well, that can't stop the execution of the eviction. What well, um, those orders are void. Ma'am. Unfortunately. Uh, police officer, more sound. Sir. Please. Can you come downstairs and just Hi, talk? how are you? Good, how are you doing? I can talk to you through... I can talk to you through this right here. Okay. Well, this gentleman's here to serve you with an eviction. So he... I understand what he's here for, but unfortunately... The eviction that papers that he was served are fraudulent. And as a result of being, being fraudulent and not being ordered by the court of right, he has what is he doesn't have the actual order in hand. That's not the actual physical order. There was never an actual order for possession. There was an order that was enjoined with the DC action which um, pursuant to law, you can't join an LT action with um, an L an, a DC action with an LT action. Nothing can be enjoined together. Ma'am. Sorry, you talk to him. I, the officers are here. They wouldn't understand the court side of it. I was given a green light. Right, and, and he, and, but this is a civil, this is civil, this is civil, so unfortunately and you cannot take make forceful entry into the home and actually i can we're opening the no, door no you cannot opening the door now that is illegal it is not that is illegal despite court orders raining down on her this stubborn karen just won't budge it's like she's stuck in a no common sense zone that is illegal. Only a sheriff can do something like that. Officer, I'm superior court officer. I'm here. I'll show you the paperwork when you come down. I'll show you right. my back. You Pro are a process server. You are a 1099 employee process server. That's what you are. Okay. That's what your position is. Here's where we are. You're, you're, you're somewhat correct, but I have the powers from the judge to come do the eviction. And that's where we stand. You don't have the powers to enforce excessive force onto the home well the owners allow me because he has possession of the home again i don't have the powers to no arrest. you don't if someone is still living in the home the owner does not have possession of the home and that's if new jersey law that was the case then the whole united states would not leave properties the question at hand is and i'm not arguing your your debate what you have with the courts or so on and so forth we're right here. now you are trespassing onto property. No one said that you could come onto this property. We Please are. put the officers. I would like to speak with the officers. I would like to speak with the officers. Opening the door. Please give me the officers. They, they backed away and they let me in charge of it. I'll bring them forward in a second. No, give me the officers. I want the officers. He's coming. I what want I want the coming. police officers. I want the police officers. I want to speak with a police officer. I want to speak with a police officer. And sir, in the blue shirt, white male, please yeah. step away from the door. Uh, he's authorized to open it. Please step away from the door. I have both of the court orders that are DC and LT actions. They are enjoined together, which is against the law, making them void. There is no judge. And I have all the law for that as well. There's no judge or anybody else that has to void it. I am in the process of motioning it to void it to actually just put it on the record. But 
tell the man to get away from the door. Police officer, excuse me. What's your name? Sean. And then he's gone. Yeah, And here comes the classic move we all know too well. She decides to pull out her secret weapon and call the cops. Brace yourselves for the drama. Can you come down and talk to us? So I no, can I cannot come down and talk to you. Please, sir, step away from the door. I'm telling you right now. Yes, yeah, someone is breaking into my home. I live at 126 Augusta Drive, Morristown, New Jersey. Oh, wait, oh. Okay. Hello, I need someone here immediately. They're here. 126 Augusta Drive. Correct. You cannot break into the home. Someone's breaking into the home as we speak. What? I do not know this person. Please, please, quickly. There are people and they're walking around my house. I need to speak with you, police officer. What is your name? Please come. The madness continues, and we're here for every jaw-dropping moment. Can you please have them come to the door? Can't. Can't. No. Not opening the door. I'm not opening the door. I'm not coming outside. I'm not coming outside. I'm not coming outside. You can't use protective force. Okay, well, ha he can come over to the front door and talk via this. He can come over and talk via this. He can come around here and talk so I can have him on re He, no, I can talk to him through here. Ma'am, can you hear me? I, I, can, I can't, no. Have him come around to the door. The officer, come around to the door. Ma'am. Officer, come around to the door. You're going to come oh, around so to the door? No, I no, I wanted the officer and back to come around to the door. Okay, so you are not allowed to use excessive force on. No, you're not. No, you're not. There is there are. It's a void order. This is a civil thing. There is a, this is a civil order. No, it's it's void. It is void. It is void. It is a void order, and there is no... Yeah, do you have the first order? Yeah, I see what you are. You're... Okay. That is not a court order. Where's the court order? Do you have the court order? Where is the court order? That's not the court order. Airports and Karens, a match made in frustration heaven. Tune in as chaos unfolds at the airport. Will Karen finally miss her flight or will she create more havoc? I can do whatever I want to do. I can. I have a master's in communication. All the movies you're watching, all the movies you're watching, I do the PR for it, Jessica. So you probably want to calm down and pipe down and go take you some meth 
Cause you look like a meth head. That's why you mad cause you can't get off of work and smoke your drugs. Excuse me, children. I can record whatever I want. I got a master's, I know the law. You a flirt. You probably don't even know how to spell Google backwards with your teeth crossed. Who are you talking to? So disrespectful. So, I'ma send this to the president of American Airlines and all the board of directors, Jessica, since this lady in a spinal fusion ain't gonna get no help, Jessica. Call the police, Jessica, so they can arrest the black woman over recording, Jessica, with your white privilege. Jessica, your fat Now call the police. I'm about to call the police, actually. We can't wait to hear your thoughts on this next clip. Sound off in the comments below and let the world know what you think about this Karen extravaganza. I'm sorry your parents are brother and sister oh and you're a fat sack of inbred. I move. Very oh my. Why would you say that? Oh my god. Who gives a move? Oh my god. Get ready for an epic tantrum as Kevin loses his cool over a crying baby. Will he find his inner peace or unleash the beast? Stay tuned. Okay. With a baby okay. in a goddamn okay. echo chamber, yeah. and you want to talk to me about being okay? Okay, because you're, you're yelling. So That's is the baby. baby. Okay, so you're a man. Did that extra to you? Okay, no. So. Oh, oh. You would shut up. No. Okay. Start me now. I don't give. You were, you were sitting there watching that okay. f***ing okay. 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 It had nothing to okay. do with nothing. Okay. Lower that baby's voice. Okay. 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 Heading to Orlando now. He's refusing to get off the plane. <laughs> so now we're all getting deplaned. He tried to plead his case that he had a right to yell because there was two adults with a crying baby and he shouldn't have been disturbed. Well, that's probably not how his wife imagined their Florida getaway going. Prepare your ears for the words of wisdom from our next Kevin. Will he enlighten us with brilliance or leave us scratching our heads in confusion? Find out soon. Okay, I'm a straight, I'm a straight white man, so I barely can You do called it. me a for being in your way and told me you're gonna me. It's not because you're a straight white man. Stop crying, baby. Like, you, you took it the wrong way. Oh, I took it the wrong way from saying I'm gonna you. I took it the wrong way yeah. because we didn't hold the door in time for you. But it's all because you're a straight white man, yeah. No you're the real triggered one here. You're the one having a tantrum, okay? None of us are. We calmly walked off. Who's triggered? Who's triggered? This is the trigger. That's the trigger. You threatened a Are you stupid? Oh my god, my stupid nose. Hold on to your hats because the obnoxious Kevin is about to invade everyone's personal space. Get ready for some cringe-worthy encounters. Vote for Trump! Vote for Donald John Trump! Give the man your vote! Vote for Trump, brother! Okay, just vote, yeah. Vote for Trump! Yes! Surely you guys know what's best for America. You're gonna give your vote to Donald John Trump, right? What you gonna do? Whatever you say, ma'am. 
<laughs> it certainly won't be you I'll be sticking it in. I promise you that, lady. <laughs> Hello, you filthy Oh, another supporter. He supports Joe. Wow. Woo. How about you, man? Come on. Trump. I hate him. Bro, pull your head out, man. Stop watching mainstream media. Get your news from your own sources. Watch live streamers. Watch the looters. Watch the rioters. Don't go for the corporate media scum. Yes. Give your vote to Trump. Nope. Look at that. Just two mindless drones. Couple of. Oh, and sir, make sure to follow Governor New Scum's decrees and put on your mask between each bite of your food. Yes. Vote for Trump. Vote for Trump! Vote for Trump, ladies. Give your vote to Donald Trump. Ah, oh, there they are! Hello! Hello! I don't want to fight you. I don't fight women. You're the one coming up into my face simply because I'm exercising my right to free speech under the First Amendment of the Constitution. Yes. You don't fight women. You are a woman. You are and that's supposed to be an insult? Go oh, yourself. So being a woman is a negative. You think that's an insult Come to be a woman? Come Bugger on. off. Scum. Yes. There they are. Yes. Hello! Let now, prepare yourself for the ultimate freakout featuring Karen and Kevin. They're a dynamic duo you won't want to miss. Drama guaranteed. Yes, it's two guys fighting, and you, these two part. You, you put your hands off. on me. We have a video. You touched me, sir. So or I don't you care. You touch me. You're the one. Got in my jail, face. Dog. Hey, dog, you're going to jail. Yeah. You're, you're going, going to, to jail. jail. You, dude. Who cares? No, I care. Why do I, I care? Hey, what I care. You do you do? care. I care. You touch me. You put your hands on me. You are such a clown that you can't even be considerate. Get the out of here, dude. When employees wrongly accuse people of theft, they better watch out for the consequences. See how justice is served in this thrilling showdown.
hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars we spent. What the f are you doing? Give us a refund. Give us a. No, we don't want no conversation. Can you guys insult us? What the f you walk us down so far to open my jacket for what? I don't. I don't. You know how much money you spend on us? No, no. We, we got so money, bro. We got bumbuckla money on us. We're the bum Do you think this guy is as guilty as charged, or are the employees to blame? Join the debate and share your thoughts on this captivating case. And why are you following us around the store? I think we'd rather you go. Why? Because, because you're following us around the store. I'm not being abusive. I'm not being abusive. I've got the finger finger on the cord. I'm asking for what though? For a pack of biscuits? No, you're being abusive. I've got it all on the cord. Do you want me to replay it back? I'm not being abusive. I asked you nicely. Why are you following me? You only asked him why she was. Yeah, you can record. I'm asking you nicely. Why are you following us around the store for a pack of biscuits? Because you're snobs and we're not. Am I not allowed to buy a pack of biscuits? No, but I'm not going to have you speak to us. Speak to what? I've got the whole thing on the cord. I've asked you nicely. Why are you? following us around the store you're and swearing you use am i language to customers it's not on. to customers oh you're pathetic keep your biscuits yeah how about that i don't yeah. give a bring the police for that i'll give you a reason just to let them know i'm gonna leave the 90 pence on the side so you know i'm not in case you say i broke your biscuits